In this video, we will look at how to add user permissions to the application. And this permission will be in a form of um, authorizations. Like if the user is logged in, we can define what they can do in the system. For example, we can allow them to log in, but they would not be able to delete any computer from the database. Right now, the way the system is, any user who is able to log in will be able to add data to the computer entry form and also list them out and if they want they can also click on the delete button and the data will be deleted from the database so we want to restrict what users can do after they logged in into the system all right if you're not a subscriber yet please click on the subscribe button turn on the notification do not miss any of our future videos the codes will be available at appcoms.com block site to restrict the users from being able to delete, we'll go to the computer list view and restrict the users from being able to click on this delete button. So right here we have an anchor that has to be closed. Okay, so this is the URL that users are able to click and delete the data from the database. Now what I will do is I will add some permissions before users are able to see or click this button to define the permission we'll do open and close braces two percent symbol and within the percent symbol we'll type if pams dot then the app name Django app and that's the app name right here dot delete underscore then the table name will follow and below the URL we will do the and if save and refresh all right so I logged in as the admin account or the super user so I'm gonna log out and log in as another user like user one we're gonna log in and I click on the computer list you can see that menu disappeared so currently this user does not have the permission to be able to click on delete but now what I can do is I don't want that menu to disappear completely or the link to disappear completely what I can do is to um, copy this line and just remove the clickable link and make it just um, a text and save it refresh so when this user logs in they will not be able to click on this button so now I will log out and log in as the admin account to show you what the settings of the user account looks like Go to admin and now in under users if I click on user one if you scroll down the user is just a regular user it's just an active user and no special permissions under the permission section so if I want this user to be able to delete based on this permission the user should have delete computer permission for this app so if I want to give that user that permission, I'm going to go to the general apps computer can delete computer. If I give this user this permission and click save and if I head back to the site and then click computer list. Okay, so we have an error right there. So what we just did was to duplicate instead of replace. This has to be and I'm gonna say else else then that piece of code will appear instead of duplicating it. So now if the user have the permission to 
to delete computers, they should be able to have this as a clickable link. If not, it will be just a text, a regular text. If I want to restrict users from being able to click on the computer name to edit it, I can do that as well. So in that case, I can say uh, if prompts dot Django app dot change computer, I can take this code, paste it right above this one, and do an else statement. Then instance that computer name. Then an if and if. So now, if the user does not have the permission to be able to change computer, they will not be able to um, click on this computer and edit the information so we will try that we will log in as user one all right and if i click on this computer so this right here would be change computer They should not be able to click the computer name. I'll, oh, we have to put this in uh, TD. All right, and refresh. So you can see the name of the computer is not clickable. So now, and if I give the permission to this user, to user one, to be able to change computer, this link will now be clickable for this particular user. So this is how to set permissions in the app to allow users to log in and then define what they can do while they are logged in.